50% of Latinos in higher education are in community colleges, 40% of African Americans in higher ed are in community colleges. They served the, the neediest populations, I would argue, in the whole higher ed sector, and they are the least well resourced to do it. And as Rachel said, you know, they have multi, multi purposes, they serve lots of different functions in a community. And at their best, and we believe the colleges that we've profiled represent community colleges at their best. They are certainly the most nimble and most market oriented institutions uh, in, in higher education. And that's what we were trying to capture here in particular. And I think the, you know, to shift from the sort of the general to the more particular around, you know, why this book in this at this particular point in time, we just think for a whole variety of circumstances um, that uh, this is the moment that we really need to look to our community colleges to play the kinds of roles that these five institutions uh, are playing. We don't, we, this, this is not, we didn't pick a representative sample. <laughs> these, are, these are among, uh, you know, on the dimensions that we care about, um, these are clearly among the best. It's not to say they're the only institutions doing this, but you know, if we had a big goal here is to help more institutions learn from the lessons of these institutions and in particular to have state policymakers learn from what these institutions do and be asking themselves, you know, what can we do to help more of our own community colleges kind of move in this direction, particularly make them, again, uh, going back to our title, you know, kind of engines of economic opportunity and mobility um, in, their, in, in their regions. 